Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Shaustool and this is another tutorial for modding space engineers. In this episode we'll be covering block mirroring, which is thankfully a whole lot easier than it used to be. So I'm going to open up Blender, and here you can see we're pretty much where we left off. And we have this extra model here that I just want to get rid of because we no longer need it for the purposes of the tutorial. We do however need this little plus sign but that'll be another video. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're just going to select the main model and we're just going to go ahead and press X to delete it and it's gone. Here you can see that because we only selected the main model on the right side that this detector terminal 001 is left. Now this is very important that it be named this way and that you don't rename it except for changing the number at the end. Now this will be our terminal that you'll see in the game, but that will be for another video. Alright, so what we're going to do is get to the block mirroring. So go ahead and select your main model and press 1. And it's super easy to do the block mirroring. Just snap the cursor to the center, select the main model, and click block mirroring. Now here you can see, thankfully, this error showed up for me, that the empty here is actually three empties and there's actually three models underneath it. Now I don't know entirely why it does this sometimes but the easiest way to usually fix it is to just press the undo button until it goes back to how it was and then just press it again and it should pop up with the models here. The reason why it popped up with the models when I pressed the undo button is because I clicked on the different empties to show you what was going on here. Alright, so now that we have the extra empties here for you to see and the extra models, it's pretty much a pretty cut and dry method of getting this done. All you have to do is you have to click on the empty, come over here to the right and go to this object data tab next to the textures and the constraints and you can see the space engineers and mirroring right here. Now if you open that up there's a whole bunch of different ones that you can actually select. Most of the time you're probably going to end up using one of the single letter ones or one of these half letter ones. Sometimes you come up with the model that you might actually have to use one of these but they're usually few. My interior corridor pieces use these a lot though. But we're working with a rather simple model thankfully and we don't have to worry about anything too complex. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this front one and I'm just going to go to mirroring and I'm going to click on Y. In here we can see that it rotated the right way that we wanted it to so it's mirroring this block. Now we don't need to do this one because it's pretty much already mirroring what we want here except for the terminal. But we don't want to mirror the terminal because we still want it to be readable. So we're not going to worry about editing anything there. Now this top one we actually want to flip upside down so it can actually mirror this one. Now it's pretty simple to do it but there's two ways. The first one is X and here you can see that it flipped upside down however it is facing backwards. Now we could go and just do a whole bunch of guesswork between all of these but I know it's Z. And here we can see that it's facing properly. But don't be afraid to just click through all the different ones to see how it behaves. I suggest going to none and then clicking on one of them and see what it does. So here you can see that when I went from none to half Y, it rotated this way and not the full 180 degrees like this one did. And that can come in handy depending on what type of block you make. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put it back where it needs to be. And that pretty much wraps up that simple side of things. Now if you have a lopsided block, <coughs> You might actually have to make a mirror model. Now I don't have a mirror model on handy to show you the perfect example for this, 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this one. I'm going to move it over to the right here. And I'm going to show you how to make a very simple, but possibly incorrect, depending on the model that you're making, mirror model. So when I open up edit mode, I want the cursor selected on the origin point, that little orange dot right there. And in edit mode, I want to just select the whole mesh. And then I want to actually flip it so it has this side actually go to this side. Now it's going to be kind of hard to notice because of this model. But the easiest way to tell that it's actually flipped is going to be this panel here. Now you can see that it goes red and blue. Now if I go control M to mirror it and then I press X, it's going to flip. Now, here you can see that the panel is blue and red, and that means our model actually flipped. And you can actually see that the model became this darker color. Now, if you remember, this means that our polygons actually flipped, meaning our normals are facing the opposite way. So if you look at the model in game, you're not going to see this side looking at it from this way. You're actually going to see back here, but from this direction. It's really weird, so I just suggest going and pressing Control N, and then it'll flip your, that'll recalculate your normals to hopefully be the correct direction for everything. However, sometimes you can run into mesh that won't flip properly because of how you have it set up. And that usually happens to floating mesh or mesh that doesn't actually have a closed section to it, which could be like a single plane or something like that, so like a piece of glass. All right, so that pretty much covers everything here. I'm going to delete this and we'll go to the next video. You guys have a wonderful day. I'll catch you in the next one.